Welcome to another review from Been There Caught That. I'm Edward Tomaloso with Hook to Cook. Today we're gonna to take a close look at this Lexa 400 HD. And I am only really going to talk about products that I've used, I've experienced, that I've boated fish with. This reel, I've caught, let's see, hey. Thresher Shark oh, shoot, on this reel, and that was pretty oh, no, epic. No, no, no. Handled it beautifully. Oh, yeah. I've also caught countless rockfish on this reel, lingcod and vermilion rockfish. And I'm sure there's other fish that I've caught. I've caught halibut on this off of my kayak. And that's just the beauty of the Lexa HD. Uh, they labeled it heavy duty. It's very corrosion resistant. You can take it on your kayak and you can fish or you could take it on a big party boat and fish. That's what I like about it is it's versatile, it is low profile, so you can put it onto pretty much any 15 to 40 rod and you'll have some fun for sure. I usually put about 40 pound test all the way to 60 pound test on a reel like this, but again, what makes it special is just how much it can take. I've actually taken this on a trip where we were dropping down to 250 feet and bringing up rockfish and I was using a six ounce jig on it and it was handling that no problem as well. So if you want a reel that can do a lot of different things, this is definitely one to take a look at. Definitely look into getting the one with the power handle because they do come with paddles if you wanted to go that route, but I do like that power knob instead of the other paddles. It does come in different gear ratios. It comes in six, seven. Personally, I like the faster gear ratios. I am typically wanting to be able to catch up to that fish when I do get a bite, uh, especially when I was fishing for those threshers. I can see my balloon go down and, I, and that fish is swimming towards me. So I'm really wanting to catch up with it and get that slack out of the line as fast as possible. But if you're gonna be using it maybe to throw lures, maybe you're going to be throwing some irons, things like that, you might wanna opt for the six, three to one because then you can slow it down and get your cadence right and you'd be able to control that lure as it's swimming through the water a little bit better. But you can also go for the seven one, the faster gear ratio. I believe it even has the eight ratio as well but then you can always just slow down your retrieve if you're throwing those irons. You'd still have that speed to rely on. Really good drag system on this. If you're looking again for a nice all around low profile bait caster, definitely look no further than the Daiwa Lexa. I've had mine for three seasons now and sadly I haven't had to uh, maintenance it. Maybe I should, it's probably filthy, <laughs> but <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you want, I will leave the link to Been There Caught That's website if you want to see what they have in their inventory or just drop on by or give them a call and one of the friendly staff will come take good care of you.